I've played against some good some good players in terms of names. Robbie Fowler, Jimmy, Floyd Hasselbank, Yakubu, Viduka, Harry Kane, uh, Louis Zaha, Peter Crouch, Jao Felix. But probably the, the most difficult was, was Kevin Phillips. Playing against him, I just felt, you know, I actually learned a lot from him. His movement, how he used to come off the line and, and he'd just get into certain positions that just didn't want to he didn't want to come out to just he always used to drag you out and by the time you got there and could put some pressure on he he laid it off and spun there was there's was one one I scored at sort of Doncaster which was which was pretty was pretty uh, important in terms of his winning winning promotion to the to the championship but my my favorite goal was uh and I didn't get many of these so uh, it was a, an overhead kick but I scored against uh, Hull, um, which, was, which, which was pretty special. So in the dressing room, um, I would say I'm pretty calm, but I like to sort of just work off what, what the atmosphere is and, and what's needed at that moment in time. So I'm not, I'm not a, a coach who'll shout and berate people because I'm, I'm looking to improve people and make them better. Um, but ultimately, once I find out how, how people work and what makes them tick, um, I, will, I will try and push certain buttons to, to get the best out of them for, for their own development. Um, I wouldn't say that I had anyone necessarily in particular who was, who was sort of my idol, um, but um, I always liked uh, sort of Tony Adams. I always felt he was a, he was a great leader um, you know, he wasn't necessarily blessed with pace, or but he, he seemed to always be in the right position. He was very organised, very structured, and uh, was wholehearted. And so, um, as a as a player, um, you know, preparing for games is always always difficult. Um, but ultimately, if if the training's right. Um, and, and your practices right throughout the week. Uh, there's a you know a bit cliche, but that, you know trust your training. And you know if the practice is right and you and you're working hard every day, that sort of takes care of itself on a on a Saturday. But there are there are things that I used to do in terms of I'd get up at the same time, I'd have the same routine, I'd eat sort of pretty much the same meal because um, I know that works for me. So I would I would just you know work structure around uh, that. I think as a person. I was very structured in terms of I try and go to bed at the same time, I try and wake up at the same time, I try and eat the same meals because I know that works. So um, that's probably uh, something that, that was just part of me anyway. So that, that's how I sort of prepared for games. I just sort of relaxed, got ready, tried to take my mind away from, from what I was doing until really close to the game. And then I sort of just focused on, on my, my bits and thought, you know, I can do my bits well and that, that should fit well into the team.